<laughs> Spoon Watcher. A few months back, I asked you all what your favorite character name misspellings were, and <laughs> there were some good ones. So I went to my rap battle artist, Soggy Bread, and we had a uh, discussion about drawing some of them. Here are some horrible ways to misspell your favorite character names and what they might look like <laughs> if they were the actual spelling. <laughs> Slobby. <laughs> Glorp. My favorite tribe, the Skype Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow see <laughs> I mean, honestly, his actual name is basically just a nickname of this. And now the strongest Nightwing assassin, Dillbringer. <laughs> He'll kill you with his sweet and sour pickle products. The protags of Arc 1, the Dragonettes of Density. <laughs> and of course, everyone's favorite antagonist from Arc 2, Dinkle Stinkle. Hey, Soggy. How did you get inside my house? So I got a bunch of funny character names spelled wrong, and I was thinking it could be funny to, like, draw some of them for a video? Hmm? Hmm? First of all, you're still breaking and entering. Second of all, what is it with you and breaking windows? <laughs> that was so last meme video. Soggy, look, windows are like kibli to some people, so I don't do that anymore. Well, sure, but why did you break them in the first place? <sighs> look at that window. Tell me, what do you see? The outside, I think. Yes, <laughs> the outside. Branches blowing in the breeze, the sound of birdsong in the air, and the horizon extending as far as the eye can see, an endless realm of adventure and possibility. I retained nothing of what you just said. What is a window but a cruel invention made to torture those brave enough to look upon the outside from within? Like a wall made to strangle our freedom, to rob us of any chance we had of ever daring to dream of exploring all the world has to offer, but made all the more cruel because now you can see what you're missing. Now you can dare to dream. But that wall is still there, invisible as it may be, still preventing you from taking that step into the outside, from hearing the sound of the birds, or feeling the wind on your wings, or touching the horizon with your own two hands, from knowing what it means to be free. So, soggy bread, that is why I stood against the tyranny of the windows, why I could never rest until every last one of them was broken into a million pieces so small they could never be used to oppress the world again, why I strove every day to- Uh, wait, um, <clears throat> sorry, the script says I throw a chair here, is that- is that right? Ah, uh, shoot, I forgot to delete that from the past script drafts. You can just ignore it. Oh. Well, it would be a shame to miss this opportunity. Ah! <laughs> Well, that's, well, that's all, all for this video. video. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed and thank you for watching. watching.